There is currently no evidence of any community transmission in Singapore from the two imported COVID-19 cases who have preliminarily tested positive for the Omicron variant. According to the Health Ministry, both cases arrived from Johannesburg on board Singapore Airlines flight SQ-479 on Wednesday. The first case is a Singapore permanent resident who was travelling from Mozambique and transited in Johannesburg. He had tested negative for COVID-19 in his pre-departure test in Mozambique on November 29th. The second case is a Singaporean woman who travelled from South Africa. She had tested negative in her pre-departure test in Johannesburg on November 29th as well. Now both are fully vaccinated and have mild symptoms of cough and scratchy throat. Infectious Diseases Specialist Dr. Leong Ho Nam from the Rofi Clinic joins me now. Welcome back to the show, Doctor. Doctor, imported cases were what led to the first community transmission of the Delta variant here. What are the potential weak links we should look out for as Omicron reaches our shores and the measures that we can take to mitigate the risks of these imported cases leaking into the community? I've no doubt that some leak may have probably happened. Now, the first case was found somewhere on the 9th of November, but if you think about it, there probably were many cases even before that in South Africa. And we see this happening in UK, in Netherlands. Cases are already there and probably circulating in Singapore already. Number one, the existing cases, some of them may be Omicron. So we need the authorities to just screen and check every single positive case there are. Then for people who come in, they, they are going to go through vaccinated travel lanes, but they're coming from countries that have existing vaccine travel lanes. So, so if they do have a negative PCR or even a negative PCR upon return, they may still develop symptoms later, afterwards. You see, you, there are cases in Netherlands, there are cases in UK, there are cases in United States of America, and the person could actually acquire it and thereafter come over. I think we should assume it the other way, that Omicron is in Singapore. We should assume that Omicron can come in through the porous nature of our immigration now. And what we ought to do on our part is to get vaccinated, not just to, but go for your triple vax, triple vax for your full complement of vaccinations. We need to keep our masks up. We need to keep our social distancing up. And we... When we eat and dine, I mean, it is five persons per table. We put our masks up again where we're not eating or dining. We do all this together. We can actually hold Omicron at bay for a while longer until we know for a fact how harmful Omicron is. We know it's infectious, but does it spread to anyone, everyone, and how badly infected they become? Doctor, having said that, our battle against COVID-19 is coming to two years now. We are currently still managing the Delta variant. We have gone through several setbacks along the way in our journey to living with the virus. And as you mentioned early on as well, you know, not much is known yet. This is uncharted territory for us. So how equipped or prepared is Singapore to deal with the Omicron variant if and when it eventually creeps into the community? I think Singapore is as prepared for it as it is possible. From the very start, we were not doing enough PCRs, and thereafter, there wasn't enough isolation, and thereafter, immigration cases were leaking in, and came back again, we didn't have enough hospital beds for Singaporeans. But the situation is different now. I think Singapore's prepared. In fact, I think we can actually hold Omicron together for a few reasons. Number one, we have a good vaccination numbers now. For the eligible group, we are hitting 95, 96%, which is an incredible number. We do have a lot more hospital beds because we have community treatment facilities. If there's a sudden upsurge, we will be able to hold on to it. Number three, it does help that Delta infection has hit quite a lot of people. For one, uh, it kind of brings the immunity up. It kind of acts as a booster uh, when Delta infection infects those who have been vaccinated. And for some people who are not vaccinated, they realize how severe the illness can be and in turn, they get vaccinated. So that helps us tremendously. Fourthly, and I think this is a game changer, we have medications now available. Intravenous monoclonal antibodies 
as one of the companies as mentioned yesterday, so Trobimab still works very, very well against the Omicron virus. Better medications, enough facilities, more people vaccinated. I think Singapore is ready for the game of Omicron. Doctor, rounding up our discussion today, the holiday season is upon us. Travellers are going on the vaccinated travel lanes. What is your advice for those who are still going ahead with their travel plans amid the uncertainty of this new variant? Be very prepared. I will be very surprised if you don't get hit with Omicron. You will be challenged with Omicron. First and foremost, please get yourself triple vaccinated. If you're eligible, go for it. Number two, please get yourself a mask. Forget the NDP 2020. Forget the 2020 NDP mask. Get good qualified certified masks. If you can, even get the N95 or the K94 mask. Those will be very good. Number three, you're overseas but practice the good habits which you have in Singapore. Mask up at all times and mask down only for your occasional drinks and your feeding. Whenever you go, try to keep your social distancing. The others may not fulfill, follow these rules very closely. You do it, do it the Singapore way and you'll be very, very safe. All of us have had a long day. It was a long two years. I would still say go ahead with your holiday, be prepared, be very ready and have a good holiday minus Omicron. Dr. Leong, thank you so much for your advice and your perspectives. Dr. Leong Ho Nam, Infectious Diseases Specialist from the Rufi Clinic.